Hello and welcome back to Glaze Chunk. Today we'll be discussing everything the Caves and Clips Minecraft update has improved. So click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Now let's jump right into this. When it originally launched, or even before that during the lengthy early access period, Minecraft was already effectively an endless game. You could build, craft, fight, and transform the world for as long as your creativity, free time, and patience allowed. Heck, you could even run in a single direction and never hit a wall. But Mojang wasn't satisfied with that, and over the years, has only added more content to this already limitless game. We've got new animals, environments, weapons, monsters, systems, and everything in between to add yet more depth to this insanely popular game. We already got a giant update in the Caves and Cliffs edition, but the second part of it is fast approaching. This update, also known as 1.18, will complete the pair and add in plenty of new changes that will impact the entire Minecraft world. There's a lot to look forward to in this update, but also a few things missing. So if you want to plan out how to tackle all the new content, here's a few new features coming in the Minecraft Caves and Clips update too. New biomes. The biggest addition in this update is the 8 new biomes that will be added to procedural generation. As the name of the update implies, most of these relate to caves and or cliffs. But there are a few cool surprises as well. The new biomes are named Dripstone Cave, Lush Cave, Noise Cave, Groove, Meadow, Lofty Peaks, Snow Cap Peaks, Stony Peaks, and Snowy Slopes. Lush Caves are full of life and green. You will instantly know you found one by the amount of moss, spore biomes, and other plant life covering the walls. You can even locate one from the surface by digging down in an area where you find an azalea tree. Lush caves are also home to glow berries that light the area but can be eaten if you feel like it. There are also drip leaves here, which are giant leaves you can use to platform on. However, don't linger on one for too long. They can only support your weight for a little while before they bend and let you droop. But perhaps the most exciting part of Lush Caves is the fact that they're the only biome in the game where you can find the new axolotls. Noise Cave There are three types of noise caves coming in 1.18. Wide open, narrow, and winding. There's nothing too special about them, but they're more intended to make the different types of caves you can encounter in the game more dynamic and unpredictable. Wide open caves are, well, Big holes, basically. Narrow ones are mostly straight, thin paths, and winding are similar in size but twist and turn. And the groove? Well, first of the snowy themed biomes are the groove, which will appear around the lower levels of mountain areas. They're home to spruce trees, polar bears, foxes, wolves, and rabbits, plus the varieties of snow, mountains and ores. As a general rule of thumb, Minecraft's Caves and Cliffs update will raise the roof, but extending the height range by 64 vertical blocks. That will bring a total of Y axis in a world to 384 blocks. This will allow for much taller mountains to occur naturally in the overworld. Going underground again, the vertical space going downwards is also getting a 64 block extension. To accommodate for all the extra space, New ore veins will be much larger, so you don't have to dig farther to find anything good. Candles The one notable new addition in your Minecraft book is candles, which you may be familiar with already if you've played Minecraft Java Edition. With this update, they will officially join the game proper. You can craft these using a honeycomb and string, but also add in dye if you want to make some cool colors. Not only are these a good source of light, but you can even combine them with a cake to make it extra special. No warden enemy, bundles, or archaeology. Unfortunately, there are a few things we were expecting in Caves and Cliffs Part 2 that won't end up arriving until the next update. Perhaps most important thing is the fact that the new warden won't even be included. Now coming in 2022, as part of the wild update, both the warden and the deep dark biome, which is where it will spawn, were meant to bring fear back into Minecraft, will be set. 
These enemies are going to be blind, meaning they'll track you based on sound. But while that can be used to your advantage to distract them, there are also going to be new blocks in deep dark, called shriekers, that emit noise when stepping on. What do you guys think of today's video? Let us know down in the comment section below. And anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching here on Glaze Chunk. We hope you enjoyed it, hit the like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Also watch two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love at least one of them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next Minecraft video.